Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Appalachian Home Co. I'm so excited about today's video. We're going to be making some really neat projects using the new Xtool D1 Pro laser cutter. This was sent to me by Xtool so I'm so excited to jump in today's video. We're going to be working with some wood projects and some leather projects and just all kinds of materials with this machine. So we're going to go ahead and get started and unbox this machine. This machine comes really well packaged. It includes all kinds of manuals to help you install and set up and get started with your machine and it also comes with a package of materials this little blue sheet is for cutting on it comes with a cork mouse pad and some little stainless steel blanks as well as some little glass ornaments that you can etch on and then it comes with this little neat wooden stamp so I'm interested to see how the laser does on making a stamp but opening up the box you can see this machine is super gorgeous to look at it has a satin red finish on it and a gold middle bar it also comes with the best feature a 20 watt laser I did a video on the Xtool D1 regular machine with the 10 watt laser and this machine is twice as powerful it also comes with an extra set of safety glasses and included with this one is a little toolbox with all the accessories you're going to need to set up your machine. X2 also sent the rotary attachment for the pro version of this laser cutter so we're going to be setting this up and trying out some stainless steel tumblers and also they sent the air assist tool. Now this makes the laser cut even deeper and faster and there's also a kit for converting your x tool d1 not just the pro version so we'll be going ahead and setting that up next is the assembly this was super simple this shouldn't take you any more than you know 30 minutes to an hour to set up they have a detailed list of instructions to help you you just assemble all four corners of the machine install about 16 screws that are color coded makes it easy to figure out where exactly everything goes so you're going to install those on each four corners and then on each four corners at the top next i adjusted the belt tightness by placing these two screws into the back of the machine the right side is going to be already finished for you and adjusted but you're going to need just to screw that left side in enough to grab your belt next you're going to install the optical shaft i did move both of those gold pieces up to the front of the machine to make sure everything was aligned and then i just slid that little round cylinder onto the rod that was already there on the machine the screwdriver that comes with your tool package is going to allow you to tighten everything up. Now I'm just adjusting that belt tightness and I'm just filling both of my belts to make sure that this one here on the left feels the same as the one on the right. And after I have that done, I just tighten that screw up on the side of the machine to make sure my belts do not come loose. Next, just follow the instructions and plug in all of your cords, all of your little zip ties here it gives you detailed instructions on how to do all this last you're going to install the middle plate and is the gold bar it goes on the, the two little gold plates on each side of the machine and it just attaches with two screws on each side after you have that installed you're just going to attach the rest of your plug-ins and cords and you're going to attach your motor cables and all those instructions are in the manual and then it's going to tell you how to move all of your cords out of the way and attach those with those little zip ties so that they don't get in the way of your project now last and final you're going to install your 20 watt laser there's a set of instructions for this too you're just going to adjust your little screw on the left side of the laser you're going to have to pull it out and do some rotations to get it to stay exactly where you want it to stay but after that your machine's going to be assembled and i like to raise my machine up just a little bit to make sure that the laser does move and the belts are not too tight and then you're going to install the final piece, which is the SD card. Now the machine's ready to plug up and we're gonna try this out on some projects. I did go ahead and set up the air assist 
feature to this machine. This was probably the simplest thing to install on this whole laser. It comes with this little nozzle that you just screw into your laser. It has a cap to put on top when you're not using your air assist. And the actual air assist contraption was super simple. It's just a couple hoses that you connect and then that connects to your laser. Here's a little air assist unit in the back and I have it just strung up on a tripod for now and it is connected to my X tool. And here's my tray set up. I got this cutting tray from Amazon. I'll link it below, but also have some masking tape and that is to mark off that little cutting tray they sent with the machine so I don't cut through my table. Now we're gonna go into Xtool Creative Space. This is the program you're gonna need to run the D1 Pro. It's not gonna be the same as the one you have for the regular Xtool D1, but I just drag my designs directly onto the canvas. And when you have your designs drag in there, you can go and select the material that you're actually using. If it's not found in the list, you can go through a larger list online. You can actually type in what you're looking for, but the material that I was gonna look for is not in here. So I'm gonna use user-defined materials. Now, these you can kind of set yourself. I did go by some guidelines I found on YouTube. Sometimes you're just going to have to test different settings on different materials, but I am setting these cut lines and then I'm going back and setting the writing here to the engrave and changing the settings on that as well. So you can cut and engrave at the same time with this machine, so this saves you a lot of time. So the good thing about the X-Tool is it has a framing option. So before you go to cut or engrave, you can hit the framing button on your program, then hit the button on your machine and it will actually frame out the area that it's getting ready to do the work on. And that lets you see exactly where your laser is going to cut or engrave so that you can make your final adjustments to placing your laser before you cut and engrave. I have engraved this little area of text and I paused my machine because I could already tell right away that the engraving was a little bit too powerful. So in real time, this is how the machine is working. But I went back and changed those settings before I wasted a whole piece of leather and then just started the process over with different settings. And now I'm cutting out this leather. I had to test this several times to get the correct cut. You'll see in a second, it did stick a little bit as I'm pulling it out of the leather, but you can always go back, test, find what settings are perfect for you. And this turned out so great. It made the prettiest leather bracelet. Now I wanted to test this out on masked leather as well. So if you don't know what masking is, it's just a piece of kind of like masking tape that goes over your material. This is gonna cut down on those burn smudges that you kind of see when you're engraving and cutting. And I tried this a couple of times too to get the perfect settings, but this done so great. You can see how powerful this laser is. I was so impressed at how, how deep it would cut and how well it would cut. Now this happened when I was actually cutting out my first test on this leather. If you hear this alarm sound, then you know that your laser has detected a fire. So that is a safety feature on this laser. I did have to start the project over at this point and adjust those settings, but you can see this laser, how bright it's, it's cutting here. And that was one of the reasons that this actually alarm went off. Your air assist tool will make your laser more powerful. And I think that's why that mine actually went off because I was using the air assist on this. But after this project cut out, you can see how awesome those engravings are. And the cut lines are just super, super clean. So this is going to be great for Christmas gift ideas. I can't wait to start making items for Christmas with this. And I'm getting into leather. So this is going to be perfect for this. Next, I wanted to try out some wood projects. I wanted to make some ornaments and some little tags for my kids' stockings. So I am using 1 8 inch plywood. This is the plywood um, for laser cutters. It is smooth on both sides. I did use the settings already in the program for this at first, but I did end up having to adjust those a little bit. So again, anytime you're working with a new material, you want to do some tests and perfect that. You can see how this first round did not cut out. So I went and adjusted that a little bit 
um, for a two times cut and then you can go back and adjust it again to have a little bit more power and go a little bit slower but the second time on the second set of settings you can see how well these turned out Now we're going to set up the rotary attachment and this is the rotary pro for the x-tool d1 pro a huge upgrade from the regular x-tool d1 rotary it has so many more attachments including a chuck and that's going to allow you to rotate mugs it has an extension to allow you to do things like baseball bats it also has some prongs for you to do engraving on wedding rings but for now we're just going to start with the basics it comes with a little level and i'm going to use this extension kit to kind of like raise up this huge tumbler. So here's the artwork that I'm going to use. There's a few things that you're going to need to do different for cylindrical object. Um, I'm going to resize mine first of all to fit on my tumbler and you want to change that flat laser to a laser cylindrical. I'm going to make sure the roller is checked. I'm not using the chuck in this one. I'm going to use the roller. I'm going to center my laser in the center of the design that's going to allow me to line everything up on that tumbler easier and I'm also going to rotate my image I'm going to need to do that to actually cut this out correctly on my tumbler so I'm gonna go ahead and frame everything out and once I make sure that is good you're just gonna go ahead and start your project I did try this laser out on several other materials. This one is cork and this turned out beautifully. I'm going to do this for some coasters, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed learning about this X-Tool D1 Pro laser cutter. I will have links to this laser cutter down in the description box and X-Tool is getting ready to do a Black Friday sale starting today. So definitely go check out those links. You'll get a good deal on this machine. If you have any questions about this machine, definitely leave them in the comments or if there's any projects you would like to see with this laser cutter, let me leave me a comment and I will try to do a project on that. Thank you guys again for watching this video. Thank you to Xtool for letting me review this product and I'll see you guys back again very soon in my next video.